Hi, my name is Christian Moga and this is the second part of the tutorial. You can watch the first part over here somewhere. Last time we modeled the shadow monster. Now we will rig it and animate. So, to animate the character we need a puppet, also called an armature in Blender. You can make the whole skeleton by adding bones one by one, or in this case we will use a quadruped armature. To be able to add the basic quadruped armature, you will need to activate the Rigify add-on. To activate the add-on, go to the Edit menu and on Preferences, Add-ons, search for Rig or Rigify and just check the box. And now when the Add menu pops up, in the armature section you will have multiple options from which we will select the basic quadruped armature. After adding the armature, we will need to adapt it to the model. First, we will need to see what we are doing, so in the armature menu, in viewport display, check in front. Now you can see the bones even if they are behind the mesh. So let's start editing the bones. Enter in edit mode by pressing tab. First position the center bones, grab one by one and arrange them in position. Next, for the symmetric ones like legs and hips and all, we need the symmetry activated. By pressing N you can show the right menu and now just check X axis mirror. Now just position the leg bones and for the hands we just use one bone because we don't need that much detail in this animation. After adapting the skeleton, we need to parent it into the model. For this, select the model and then shift select the armature, right click and parent with automatic weights. Now the armature is linked to the object and we can put it in any stability position in pose mode. From the right menu N to show it, check auto IK, so when you drag the pole the whole leg moves accordingly, like when moving just the hand. Now we will adjust the weight pane. For this, we will need to work on the first level of details and change the bones to sticks. So you can see the bones and the mesh at the same time. In the brush option, check auto normalize to have the area used only by the bone that you are editing so you don't have multiple bones acting on the same area of the mesh. Also check the front face only just to be safe. Now just select the bones one by one and adjust as you think it needs. By the way, you can download the files for this project from the link below. It includes the model from the first tutorial, so you can start this tutorial from the beginning, or the model with the bones and all the weight paints, so you can just animate it, or just the final model and play with it.
So after we've finished all the weight paint, we can start animating the monster. I'm not that good at animation, but it works for a small clip like this. You can study how a walk cycle should be, and there are a lot of tutorials online about this. It doesn't need to be Blender specific, it's just the quadruped walk cycle. I'm just positioning the legs and add keyframes one by one and adapt them afterwards. So in the animation menu you have the dope sheet. Here you have all the keyframes for the selected bones. To add a keyframe to mark the position of the bone, press I and select lock rot scale. The scale is not changing in this armature but just to be safe and get used to doing it. I'm selecting all the bones by pressing A and after I lot row scale and move on further to the next position. After you got the basic movement, just go back and add multiple keyframes as needed. By the way, you can move the keyframes in Dope Sheet by pressing G. You can use the same shortcuts G and S. You can also scale in time the keyframes or just grab them and move them in time. If you want to move just one keyframe, just click and drag it. So I want the creature to come to the camera and look at you. To emphasize this, I will put a point light just near the camera, so the head of the creature will come into light. I've also made a simple shader to have a more textured terrain. And after I'm playing with a smoke shader for the creature using principal volume. Unfortunately, it only works in cycles and it doesn't work in EV and the render times are awful. So that's it. Again, you can download the files in the link below. You can play with them at hair, make them fluffy or whatever you want, please show me the results. I need to research more the smoke simulations in Blender because I get very strange results with the particle dynamics, much different than in other softwares and that I'm used to. So part 3 will be delayed a bit more. Until then I will release some smaller and faster tutorials. You can subscribe and click the bell to be notified. Thank you for watching and see you next time.